today i'm gonna teach you guys uh the part of uh well it's a part of the bible but we're gonna master together how to preach uh how to prepare your ceremony the voice all those kind of stuff yeah uh, stuff Salut mes amis, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Bouti na bande ko ne supposa ko landa ngai. Lelo na ko tang sa bidon dengni ni ba tea ka dengni ba prepara ma tea. Alors naza pona ko ede bino. Alors, tika to uh, to pou yana biso. God, um I let my sister, my brother, myself to you. God forgive us a lot of stuff we do to make you happy in Jesus name. Amen. So I'm gonna cover um the the video is not it's not gonna be that long, okay? So so we need to know um look some of you may ask man do I don't think you need to teach this because you know you don't have a degree on this, you don't have a master degree, PhD I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, the way I I see the thing is a little bit different. All right, I do my research, what based on what I learn or I master at university. So I decided to provide you guys what you know the part of me what I master at university. Same thing what when I do my uh, research. So I want to share with you guys. All right. Now, um. Before you decide to to prepare your um, message, you're gonna deliver it to people. Uh, you need to know what you are doing. Now, when you stand up, when you are there and preaching to people, you need to know uh, the R and the signs of preaching. Okay. So, in case. In case you don't get it, it's okay. I'm gonna try my best as I can to help you guys. So here are the notes. I don't wanna read them slice by slice. So I I break them down like like this for you guys. All right. Now listening. Listening is so important. When you listen a lot. When you look at the family doctor, the dentist, they listen a lot. They listen. They're the great listener. Because if they don't listen, they're going to make a lot of mistakes. Angel listen a lot. Lucifer, uh, Lucifer listen. God listen. Some of you may say, okay, if he listen, then how he felt? Trust me. He listen. They listen a lot. We talk, 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 talk. Now, we have the Inside of the R of listening, we have the law. Okay? Wait a minute. Do we need to know this? Yes, you need to know this. Now, you need to learn or to master. You need to spend time. Okay? You need to spend more time listening. You need to take the notes. You need to listen between the lines. So, really important. We come here. I decided to give you guys this a lot of it. Hollywood, WWE, music industry, comedy. So, when we come here, what is preaching? Based on what I, when I read the Bible, this is what I decided to put here. Okay? Now, the men or women, they're the one who's going to deliver the message. And then, uh, they also have uh, the way of Preaching, preparing the material they have. Okay. Now, men or women, they deliver the message. Sometimes God is going to call you, you know, to deliver his message. In some situation, when you are little, it's a little bit different. Now, when you are preaching, you have to know, are you going to talk about the Old Testament or the New Testament? If you're going to talk about the Old Testament, you have to, are you, it's going to be part of a, History, uh, you know, some people like the prophet, the prophecy or uh, uh, um, poesy, like uh, you know, in the French. Uh, the way I can break this down for you guys to understand, some people they want like the poetry. 
Some people, they want uh, the prophecy. Some people, they want the history. So you have to know what part of the Bible you want to do your research and before you start preparing your message. Okay? So we have a three part here, okay? Now, in New Testament, in the New Testament, we got the gospel. In gospel, we got John, we got Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Now, beside of the gospel, we have Hebrew. This one, we don't know who wrote it. We don't know. This one, you're going to give Paul. This one, James. This one, Peter. So they are not part of the gospel. Okay? So when you're when you standing there preaching, you need to know, am I going to talk about the prophecy, poetry, history? So you have to know about it. Now, you see, when you look at WWE, you're going to see they have a music. They got comedy. They got acting. They got the politics. Now, the main reason I decided to put this, you know when the, the like, let's say, for example, The Undertaker, The Rock, you know when they're acting, they put music inside. They put the comedy inside when they're acting. There's also like a little bit of politics there. That's why you see WWE, a lot of people love it. On the other hand, when we look at the priest, we got some problems. When you are preaching, you need the music. Oh, yes, Jesus love me. Oh, yes, Jesus love me. Oh, yes, Jesus love me. The Bible say. You can, you can also change that instead of you singing. Oh, yes, Jesus love me. You can change it. You can change that a little bit. You mix with Jesus love me a little bit inside. You change it a little bit. Okay? So, we come here, comedy. You have to change a little bit. When you put, you know, put a little bit of salt. A little bit of comedy. A little bit. The medicine. You also want to talk a little bit. For example, we have COVID. So when you, let's say you decide to deliver the message of God and then you want to talk a little bit about COVID, you have to be careful. The politics. You don't have to attack, you don't need to attack the politician, no. You don't want to cause that problem. No, 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 you don't need it. But you have to find a way of, to, uh, to avoid being negative or, uh, or insulting or um, causing a trouble. You don't want that. So, when you mix here the music, okay, a little bit, and comedy a little bit, here a little bit, you're going to see when you're standing there talking, a lot of people are going to love it. A lot of people. Okay? So, try to uh, come up with a different, it's like a psychological, you know, when you understand people there, you know, if you study sociology, uh, anthropology, you're going to understand, even psychology, you know, when I was um, my first year at university, I love it, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I love that, my first year at university, and then um, I mastered a lot of stuff there, I was like, wow, I remember when I took an uh, introduction to health and science, uh, psychology, sociology, social work, it was amazing. It was amazing. So, we come here. Uh, the purpose of preaching. We have faith. We have loss. We have seen. We have a Christian. We got audience. Okay? Now, the true man of God. How can we know that this man, you know, is a true man of God. He's delivered the message of God. Because, guys, I have to be honest with you. Some people, they just decide to study psychology, sociology, philosophy after that. Their mom, their dad, their friends, they give me them, them idea, do this, do this. But I agree, it's, it's better to have background a little bit on that. And when you start preaching, yeah, it's going to help you. But don't put politics inside. You know, when you deliver the message of God and you mix them with politics, it's not that good. No, it's not going to help you. You're going to fail. I saw it. 
I saw it in my own family. I saw it for my ne- my nephew. I saw this from different people. Mm, doesn't look that good. Smell bad. You have to be careful, okay? Don't mix psychology and politics inside of this. It doesn't help, okay? Now, when you prepare your stuff, okay? Um, material, you need to know. Emotional, emotional. Uh, you have to be careful, okay? Some some of us, we have some problem in the past. You know, uh, in my case, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes when somebody abuses you, it's not that good. We have a lot of priests. They abuse a lot, a lot of people. You go in a Catholic church. You go in a Christian Reformed church. You go in a Presbyterian church. I don't know much about uh, Islam. I don't know. I cannot talk negative about them because I don't know. Of a weakness, I don't know much about him, but uh, the Christian Reformed Church, the Catholic, uh, Presbyterian Church, we have a problem there. So some of us, some of us, when we, you know, when they're standing, they stay there. I mean, standing there preaching, they talk you. They will gonna talk you. You don't get it because you don't have education. But the one who understands, trust me, I saw it. So we have to be careful. We need to avoid those kind of stuff. We come here now. When you pre- when you decide to prepare your ceremony, you need to have a hook. Okay, it's just like the way you write the paragraph. You know when you write the paragraph of the thesis, yes, you need a hook. You need to have introduction. Now you need to have the body. Inside of the body, you need to have a support sentence. Yeah, you need to have them, and then you need to have a conclusion. Okay. We come here. Let's say you want to talk about Moses. You can. Are you going to talk about his birth? Birthday? Are you going to talk about his education, slavery, or Ten Commandments? So are you going to talk about these things? In the case of Joseph, are you going to talk about the dream? Are you going to talk about jealousy? Are you going to talk about slavery? Are you going to talk about the wealthy? Because, you know, um... In the way I see it, okay, some when you decide to uh, to prepare your ceremony, um, you also gonna cover some of your own personal life experience. You put them in, inside, okay. Let's say for example, I'm gonna talk about Joseph. Um, let's say this is Joseph. This is Paul. I'm just giving example. This is Paul. This is his brother. Now Moses is here. I mean, uh, Joseph is there. So, what can I get from Paul to cover the part of Joseph? What can I get from my uh, from uh, brothers here, from my life experience, for example, to cover here? So you have to be careful when you prepare your message. You have to be really, really careful. Really careful because they have to match. You know, when you wear the shoes, let's say you wear your shoes is red, your pant is green, your clo- the, the top one is yellow. They don't look that great. So you have to be careful. You have to be really, really careful when you deliver the message. You also need to know who you're talking to, who you're preaching to. The kid, adult, you have to be careful. The language we use can cause a problem. We come here. So like I said, in case, let's say you're preaching to adult. Adult here. Oh, the hook, you need to know it. How to come up with that. Introduction, okay. You need to come up with that. And the body, that's why we're going to develop. So you have to be careful. Sometimes you're going to hear people say, them. Okay. This, okay, or subject, something like that. So this one here is like uh, you come up with the main idea and you have to develop the main idea. The hooks is not uh, the conclusion. It's different. So when you're preaching to the kid, when you're preaching to children, you have to be careful, okay? You ca- they cannot receive the same message that you're delivering to the adult. It's completely different. Okay, so your voice, 
when you prepare preparation and your voice you have to be careful uh what you can eat what you cannot eat and then uh, what kind of help you can get if you have a wife you know she loves you she cares about you and then uh, and then make sure that you're in a good mood okay because if you are angry you're not getting enough sleep and then you some of us will have the family problem all those kind of stuff this can affect you it can affect you okay you, we have to be careful we have to be careful. Okay, so um yeah so we have to be really really careful okay, how we deliver the message of god all right so so we have to be really really careful how we deliver the message of god so um I'm going to stop here for today so let's pray God we come to you we want you to forgive us for all those stuff we do to make you happy clean our heart clean my brothers and sister my friends my co-worker their heart God I come to you in Jesus name amen